Hi, hey, how are you? I am fine, sir. Okay, so let's start from introduction. So introduce yourself. So first of all, thanks for giving this opportunity. My name is Mayur Kapanis and basically I am from Nasi. So I have recently completed my BTEC from Dr. Baba Sai Bambinga Technological University in IT stream with aggregate uh, CGP of 8.61. Uh, talking about my technical skills, I have the practice in Java and C++ programming languages, talking okay, data structures and algorithms. And talking about my projects, I have done multiple projects based on uh, Android development, machine learning and Java. So talking about our Java project, uh, we have done our a major project as e-admission system using Java, uh, which has three models, admin module, model, user model and college model, okay. which provides end-to-end -end, uh, admission portal to both colleges and students. Mm -hmm. Now talking about my hobbies, I like playing cricket, watching cricket and uh, operative programming as well. So this is all about my answer. Okay, great. Uh, so let's start our technical discussion. So first tell me what is Java? So Java is a high level object oriented programming language. It is a machine uh, machine independent language. Uh, it has some features like uh, Java is a robust, portable, and simple, easy to understand and secure programming languages along with uh, multi threading capabilities. Okay, so one of the features of Java is Java is uh, platform independent. Yes. So can you please elaborate it? Yes, sir. So uh, Java C compiler compiles a dot Java file and converts it into a dot class file. Okay. Not uh, now that uh, dot class file is uh, executed by JVM and uh, dot class file is of type uh, bytecode. Mm -hmm. Now, if we compile the uh, dot Java file in uh, Windows machine and convert it into dot class file, that dot class file can be executed by JVM in any of the machine like uh, Linux or uh, Mac. Mm -hmm. So, this makes a Java platform independent. Okay, great. Uh, so, tell me next, uh, what is the uh, array list in Java? So, array list is a implement implementation class of list interface in Java. Uh, with uh, of collection interface, mm -hmm. collection framework. So array list is nothing but uh, we can say optimization over the arrays. So, but uh, the feature of array list is uh, we can add multiple elements uh, without giving any size. Mm -hmm. And also array list takes uh, uh, object type of data. Also, array list uh, take uh, array list can take any type of data. In it. Okay, right. Uh, so, can you differentiate the uh, dif uh, array list and linked list? Yes, sir. So, both are the linear data structures, mm -hmm. but uh, array list uh, based on arrays, like uh, it is an index based data structure. Mm -hmm. But in terms of linked list, linked list consists of nodes. Each node consists, uh, each node, node has its own data and address of next pointer. Right. And linked list is of, uh, there are two types of linked list singly linked list and doubly linked list. In singly linked list, uh, each node has its own data and address of next pointer. But in double linked list, node has its own data along with uh, address of next and previous nodes. Right. right. Uh, so tell me the difference between uh, array list and hash set. Okay. So array list is a implementation class of list interface and hash set is an implementation class of set interface mm -hmm. uh, in Java. Now array list is a linear data structure, means uh, it takes data in uh, in linear fashion in form of indexes. Mm -hmm. If you talk about hash set, hash set uh, uh, is implemented using hash map, uh, which is implemented using a hash table. Mm -hmm. So right. for each value, uh, the hash code has been calculated and on the basis of that data has been stored. And so hash set uh, stores only a unique or distinct data. Okay. okay. So uh, you hear about the uh, easy relationship and hazard relationship in Java? Yes, so can you explain easy relationship? Yes sir. Uh, easy relationship in Java is nothing, nothing but inheritance. Mm -hmm. So acquiring members of child class mm -hmm. uh, uh, from parent class, uh, it is called uh, easy relationship. For example, uh, if we have two classes car and vehicle. Mm -hmm. So in this case, uh, vehicle is a parent class, right. car is a child class. So we can say that car is a vehicle. But in easy, uh, easy relationship, vice versa is not possible. Mm -hmm. yes, we can say that all cars are vehicles, mm -hmm. but we cannot say that all vehicles are cars. Right, right, right. Uh, so tell me the difference between array and array list. 
So, Agilist is a implementation class of list interface mm -hmm. in our collection framework. Uh, and uh, if you talk about Agile, Agile takes uh, data of primitive types and uh, non, -primitive, non primitive types also. But Agilist can take only object type of data. And Agilist, in, in Agilist, we have to define the size first. And we cannot change uh, its size after its definition. Right. But in terms of Agilist, uh, we can add multiple data items in it. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Uh, okay, so tell me the next. What is exception in Java? So exception is a exception is an event uh, which causes a normal termination of a program in Java. Mm -hmm. Exception uh, it has two types: uh, check exception and mm -hmm. object exception. Okay. So if we talk about check exceptions, uh, it is uh, these are checked at compile time. Mm -hmm. And if we talk about object exception, these are uh, checked at uh, run time. Okay, so can you explain encapsulation with real time example? Yes, sir. So encapsulation means uh, wrapping of code and data together in a single unit. Mm -hmm. So if you talk about the uh, real world example, uh, if you have a pouch uh, which we want to bring to our exams, mm -hmm. so all the items such as uh, scale, pencil, mm -hmm. and pen are encapsulated inside that pouch. Right, right, right. Okay, so tell me the uh, what is polymorphism in Java? So polymorphism means many forms mm -hmm. uh, in Java. Uh, polymorphism means uh, same name but uh, different behavior. Okay. So it has two types: runtime polymorphism and compile time polymorphism. Mm -hmm. Compile time polymorphism is also called as static binding, and runtime polymorphism is also called as dynamic binding. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Great job. Uh, so I am done. So thank you. Thank you for thank you.